Hi everyone, I'm Mike and this is Ultimate Tech Hub. This is episode 2 of Home Automation and we will look at Cassetta's smart dimmer switches and plugs from Lutron. We will first install a hardwired dimmer on a 3 way switch and then we will install two plug-in dimmers that will control two lamps in two different rooms. Then we will show you how to use the remote and the Lutron app and lastly how to set up voice commands with the Alexa app. And if you missed episode 1 of Home Automation, the Roomba 690 review, there will be a link at the end of this video. If you like these videos, give a thumbs up and if you love them, hit subscribe. First thing to do before installing the wired dimmer is to cut power to the switch. So we'll look for the breaker label entry where we're installing the dimmer. Here we go, to the left. We have a cassette of dimmer already installed for our kitchen on the left. On the right is where we we'll install the dimmer for the entry lights. The cassette of wireless dimmer is priced at $59.95. Cassetta dimmers are compatible with LED, incandescent, and halogen bulbs. Remove the wall plate. Next, remove the old switch. Simply remove the two screws holding the switch to the wall box. Let's remove the new dimmer from the packaging. We have the dimmer. Three wire caps and two screws, and the instructions. Next, remove the gold ground wire that's connected by a screw. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew it. Now, simply cut the other three remaining wires loose with wire cutters. Next, strip back the red and two black wires, about a quarter of an inch. You can use wire strippers or just regular scissors. I prefer good old fashioned scissors. Now it's time to wire up the new switch. First connect the green wire to the gold ground wire. Twist the yellow cap clockwise until it feels tight. Next connect the red wire to one of the black wires. Twist the yellow cap clockwise until it feels tight. Lastly, connect the three remaining black wires together. Twist the yellow cap clockwise until it feels tight. Done. Gently push the dimmer switch into the wall box. Make sure the wires have enough space behind the switch so the connections do not come apart or get kinked up. Once the switch is able to sit flush into the wall box, use the two screws to finish the install. Next, put the wall plate back on and see if it sits flush with the other switches. It doesn't, so we'll make an adjustment with the screw. We'll loosen a little bit and see if that works. Put the wall plate back on, see? <laughs> Still not flush. Loosen the two screws a little. Use wire cutters or pliers to remove the three silver tabs on the right side of the dimmer. This is probably causing the dimmer to be off and not sitting flush with the other switches. Retighten the two screws. Install the wall plate. Perfect. Go back to the breaker and push it to the right. Turn it back on. Let's test the new dimmer switch. First tap the off button. Success. Next tap the on button. Success. Now use the dimming button to dim the lights. And that works too. Now screw in the screws to the wall plate. If you like these videos, please hit the subscribe button. It keeps this channel going. And it's really important. Next, let's remove the plug and dimmer and remote from the box. The dimmer with the two outlets and the remote control for the dimmer. 
Now let's set the dimmer in the master bedroom. We will control both lamps with a dimmer. Choose a plug and location near both lamps and we'll need an extension cord for this setup. This is the plug and location for the dimmer. Plug in the first lamp. The other lamp will require an extension cord. Just run it behind the bed. Push the nice stand back. And plug in the extension cord. Done. Let's test the remote. Now make sure both these lamps are turned on, otherwise it won't work. And the remote works perfectly. I'm going to set up one more plug and dimmer and then I will show you how to use the app on your phone to control all the dimmers we just installed. Before we set up the app and also the voice control with Alexa, we'll need to install a Cassetta Wireless Smart Bridge. Now I'm installing the Smart Bridge Pro which is $100, but the regular Smart Bridge is about $80. Simply put it in your network box or near your router, plug in the power, plug in Ethernet to the bridge, and plug it into your switch or your router. It's that simple. And the great thing about the Smart Bridge or the Smart Bridge Pro is you can connect up to 75 devices, which is plenty for any size house. Next thing you want to do is download the, the Lutron app from the Play Store. Launch the app. You can see I have two devices already set up, kitchen and living room. Let's add a new device. Choose the product that you want to add. Let's start with the wire dimmer and the entryway first. To pair the new switch, hold the button, the bottom button for 10 seconds. It's ready. Choose foyer entry, front foyer. And choose ceiling lights. Next. Success. Now let's add the other two dimmers. Choose the product, and we're choosing plug-in dimmer this time. Now hold the bottom button down for 10 seconds again. Choose nook, table lamp, and two lamps. Next. Success. Let's add one more, the master bedroom lamps now. Choose and plug-in dimmer. Hold the bottom button down for 10 seconds. Choose master. Lamps, two lamps. Now let's go ahead and set voice commands through the Alexa app. Go ahead and open that up on your phone. Go to menu. And go to skills and games. Skills and games are like apps for Alexa. In the search bar, you're going to want to type in Cassetta or Lutron. You'll see Cassetta and RA2. That's the one you want to download. Don't download the Lutron Connect app. It will not work. Okay, scroll down, you'll see three examples of, of uh, voice commands. Alexa, turn on the living room lights. Alexa, dim the bedroom lights. And Alexa, set the kitchen lights to 80%. It's pretty cool. You know, there's a lot more you can do. Next, let's go to add device. We're going to go to switch and Lutron and discover devices. It takes about 45 seconds. We'll speed that up, though. And they found two scenes. All right. Let's go to switches, and you can see all of our switches. We can turn them all on if you'd like, and just by clicking on each one. And you can turn them off, and at the very top if you want, you can hit all on or all off, either way. Next, let's go to routines. Now let's check out Alexa Good Morning Routine. I like that one. So in the morning you wake up, Alexa Good Morning, and you'll see what it does. The nook, the foyer, and living room lamp, kitchen lights will all turn on. You'll see percentages of brightness, even temperatures will kick in for the living room and for the office and for the master bedroom. And let's add an action. Let's go ahead and go to Smart Home, Lights, and let's go ahead and go to let's see the uh, front for your main light. Let's go ahead and do that. Hit next and power. You can power off or power on. And we can adjust the brightness all the way up or even down to 14% or 40, whatever you want to do. And next, you hit next and now we can see it there. I already have it set 
below, so I'll go ahead and get rid of that one. And here, there we go. Well, thank you guys for watching my videos. If you like these videos, give a thumbs up. If you love them, hit subscribe, it's free. And hit the bell icon so you can be notified of future reviews and tech videos. Thank you again for watching. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1963, a black and white Parisian cat named Elisette became the first space cat ever, rocketing into suborbital flight for 13 minutes before returning safely back to Earth. In her honor, I give you my very best. Meow.